Hello, everybody. So I have a story about an individual who was arrested because he was trying to set fires in Oregon. Now, this story is just, it gets under my skin for many reasons. One of which is the fact that there are people both on the Republican and Democratic side that are manipulating the information to be able to fit into, you know, what it is that their party wants. Due to the fact that I just got internet so I can actually film on my camera, because of the fires, this stuff starts to piss me off. So there's like three different reasons why this situation actually pisses me off. Now, I add all my sources in the description box of each video and timestamps. So I'm just going to do like a little social experiment. If you're the type of person that only wants to hear about like Republicans, bad. Let's hear what the Republicans did that was bad or Democrats, bad. Let's see what the Democrats did. Well, then you can check it out in the timestamps because I'm not going to force you to watch the whole video. But I would challenge you to hear what both sides did that was incorrect. Now, I don't have a horse in the race. I don't like either party. So let's just get that clear right off the bat. And I'm okay with getting criticism. I'll read all of your guys' comments. Now, the ones I don't legitimize are the ones who just say you suck and that's it or provide like sketchy links without any context, okay? So here is what the story is. And let's kind of like break this down. An Oregon man was arrested after he admitted to setting a bushfire along a highway, police said as wildfires burn through large swaths of the West Coast. Then, they said, he set six more. Domingo Lopez Jr., 45, was booked Sunday afternoon after witnesses said he set a section of grass along the I-205 freeway on fire with what appears to be a Molotov cocktail, according to a report by the Portland Police Bureau. So I attach the, the story, but also I attach with the Portland Police Bureau kind of like their information as well. So this guy, uh, he was arrested for throwing a Molotov cocktail. Then after that, the next day, he was released, and then he set six more fires. Six more. There are cities in Oregon that are burned down, okay? People are, are, are dead and who have lost their livelihood, and then there's people like this who are floating around. And then on top of that, then you have the Republicans and the Democrats who are trying to manipulate this story in order to fit their own political agenda. And then there are people who are believing that because either they, one, believe in fairy tales, or two, they're intellectually defeated and they just find the easy out, which is the Republicans bad, Democrats bad, and that's it. So let's start with, let's start with the right. Now the right, my arguments are a little less substantive and more generalized. So the right they'll say, oh, this is Antifa. Well, it's like, okay, where are your credible sources? Now, if you guys don't know where I stand with Antifa, you can check out my old videos. I'm not even going to get into it. Where's your sources? Okay, now don't tell me, well, we know because there's this picture I saw on, on Twitter. Okay, cool. So if I post a picture on Twitter saying that it was far right, then, then does that make, you know, give me credibility? And I'm not even defending Antifa, by the way. Let's make that very clear. That's just an example of a larger issue. We have no credible information. So we could say we think it's Antifa, but that is, an, uh, that is if we say, for a matter of fact, it was Antifa, unless there's new information that I don't know, which could very well be the case, in which case, send me the information, give me some context, hopefully it's credible, and we'll just you know keep it going. Now, if I'm wrong, let's, I'll, I'll go ahead and say I'm wrong. But right now, anybody could say anything. And I get it. It's politically convenient. And that's cute. Okay. But this isn't Fox News. This isn't MSNBC. The devil's in the details. And it's pretty apparent that you want it to be Antifa. And so you try to force it to be Antifa. Unless one of their social media accounts literally says, you know, Antifa supporter, I was an Antifa or something like that. We have nothing to work off of. So far, the people who have actually been caught, according to the actual police, they are not associated with with a political organization. So let's be very clear about that. Next, let's talk about the left, specifically the establishment left and the things that kind of piss me off about what it is that they're doing. Now, the left, I'm going to discount a couple things that they had written, specifically the New York Times. And it literally just took a little bit of digging. That was it. And that's how ridiculous some of these arguments are. Is it just takes a little bit of digging and that was it. So here's a story I think you guys would appreciate. So they made a story essentially saying that people are staying in their burning towns because they're scared of Antifa looting. And there's like a fact in like a, a fake uh, fiction of this, okay? Like a, like a truth section of this and then something that's completely fake. 
Now, here's the story. It was about Malala, Oregon, and they started talking to an individual named Ralph Mitchell. So here's the quote by Ralph Mitchell. This is what he says. Quote, there's already reports an anti-fuzz in town going down the streets looting, he says, echoing widely discredited rumors on Twitter and Facebook that left-wing activists have been systematically setting blazes. I'm getting texts, he says. Okay, so later on in the the article, and again, I attach it if you guys would like to check it out, they're pretty much talking about how the police said stop spreading rumors about Antifa, so on and so forth, which is true. Like, these are the stances I even took as well, where I'm saying, guys, there's no information um, about this. But this is where I have the problem with what the New York Times is saying. So they said, quotes, the holdout residents girded themselves for two threats. One was the very real 125,000 acre riverside fire burning just east of the town. The other was the imagined invasion of left-wing mobs and arsonists that multiple law enforcement agencies have sought to refute. So you can you can take your own opinion about, you know, what it is that you feel that these people are politically affiliated with. However, you can't discount the fact that there are there are actually people looting right now. Contrary to what they would like to say, like if they're actually trying to be honest journalists, they would say something to the effect of hey, it is an Antifa, but there are reasons to be concerned so much to where you're kind of sticking around a little bit just to make sure there aren't people looting because that's the truth. There actually are people looting. This is true. So to confirm this, and again, sources in the description box below, I decided to actually do a little bit of digging and look into the jail records in Oregon. Okay, just a YouTuber here decided to do a little of investigative reporting and decided to think, well, hold on a second, let's actually confirm if this is true or not. Mind you, this is a big media organization, and a YouTuber is going to delegitimize that claim. So I decided to look into it. I mean, look, right off the bat, it, was, it wasn't that hard, actually. Right off the bat, there were several people who were arrested for looting, including this guy named Jason Paul Gibbs, Cameron Michael, I think it's Geiger, Manuel Jerome Parks, along with several others. It's burglary. They had uh, theft charges, and I think some of them or all of them uh, also were the possession of meth. So you have the left that's discounting the concerns and saying practically, not even just in this article, because it's true that they, you know, Antifa didn't allegedly didn't do this unless somebody comes out in support of Antifa who did these things. They're discounting the concerns of the right, and the right is blaming people on the far left without any sort of evidence. What we actually know is that there were people setting fires and the people who have been caught thus far have yet to been, God, what's the word I'm looking for? They haven't come out in support of a specific organization. When we're having a conversation about the fires, we need to understand, look, I get it. You love the Republicans or you love the Democrats. But if you want to just focus on your own fairy tale land, then okay, cool. Go, go, go play Fox News in the background or MSNBC or whatever, you know, name your media outlet. I don't have a horse in this race. I'm just trying to spread the facts as somebody who cares, who actually lives here. So Republicans, I don't know if Antifa is doing this or not, but technically you don't either because you also don't have facts. And if you do, please send them my way. Give me some credible information. Don't just say you don't know what you're talking about because you're intellectually defeated. That means nothing because you didn't give me anything. In Democrats, for God's sake, there are legitimate concerns from the people who actually live here. It's not like all of this is just a figment of imagination, right? It's, there's legitimate concerns and there's legitimacy to back up said concerns. For example, there are people who are arrested for looting. So maybe not make fun of the people who are worried about leaving their burning home because they're worried about losing their livelihood in other ways as well. Thank you.